A plan for cleaner air, that's what the State Air Resources Board passed today here in Bakersfield. But there was quite a bit of opposition, not from those against regulation, but from some environmentalists. They say the plan doesn't do enough. 17's Katie Roosh is joining us live to explain. Katie? Tammy, opponents say that 600 people die in the San Joaquin Valley each year because of our air pollution. And while the plan that passed today tightens our air quality restrictions, environmentalists say it's too little, too late. We will be asking you to reject the plan today. Dozens address the State Air Resources Board here in Bakersfield. I urge you to reject this plan. Nearly all asked the board to reject the San Joaquin Valley PM 2.5 state implementation plan. It's time to move away from planning that starts with from the assumption that nothing more can be done. The plan aims to reduce particulates that hang in the valley air in fall and winter. According to the American Lung Association, Bakersfield is the worst in the nation, leading to an increase in heart attacks, strokes, and asthma. I have four children. All of them have asthma, including myself. Mario Talavera says his family has asthma because of the air quality. My home seems like a pharmacy. So Talavera asked the board for a stricter air plan. Under the state implementation plan, 100% of Valley residents will meet air quality standards by 2019. Environmentalists want that to happen by 2014. It's long past time that the board take uh, air quality planning very seriously. But today, the board passed the plan as is. Ms. Diodano? Yes. Mr. De La Torre? Yes. Board members say passing something is better than nothing. The plan provides significant improvements in air quality, and we need to grab what we can grab. The board says they do intend to improve the plan. It's an incremental uh, process. Standards get tighter, rules get tighter, but you keep on making progress. For opponents, however, that's not good enough. Given the health effects of PM 2.5, don't you think that you should do it once and do it right? And not only do opponents think the plan is unacceptable, but they also think it is illegal. We'll explain that part of the story ahead on 17 News at 6. Live at the Bluffs, Katie Roosh, 17 News.